Well, you won't be bored for long watching whatever happens here. Potato's a pretty, pretty pogged up game. Usually pretty pogged, I think. Let's try a different character. I'm going to go with, um, well, no, wait, hold on. What other unlocks do I want to go for? Maybe we don't go for the minus, the minus six HP regen. Or minus five, we were so close. I mean, we could probably get up to higher dodge. No, I'm going to try Brawler again. Fuck it. So we need minus five HP regen. And what was it? 60% dodge? Yeah. So dodge and less HP regen. Take hand for harvesting. You know what? Maybe we just take it down to... Uh, let's try Danger 2. New map is good, but so confusing. There's definitely a lot more going on. Again, feels like more of a properly designed level. Like a video game ass level, not just a vampire survivors level, if that makes sense. Give me melee damage. Give me fist. Give me hand. And I guess steroids. Would still highly recommend uh, checking out Brotato if you like Vampire Survivors. Very, very good. It does some things differently, but uh, I'm enjoying it a hell of a lot. Go with damage. I guess one of each of those. Now we can get a level three fist. I'll take Scar too. We'll lock it for next uh, next uh, wave. Well, I'll say the uh, the open hands look more like feet than they do hands in game here. Twenty percent pickup range, ten percent harvesting, minus five percent dodge. Now we're gonna recycle that. I normally do like frog, but uh, we want higher dodge right now. Speaking of dodge, knockback was a good one last time. There's another fist. Or we'll lock it. Gonna buy anything unless you're going to play it right away. The wave of games I got from your boys think you're set for a while. That's fair. That is perfectly understandable. I'm glad those games are gonna go to good use because they were just rotting away in my humble inventory. And I still have plenty more that are gonna rot away. This felt like a fun, thematically appropriate thing to do. Let's go with regular damage, I think. Brass Nux, yes. Fist, yes. And, uh... Yeah, we'll lock that hand for next round. Tell me you wanted you lost this. That's how it goes. Yeah. Odds are still pretty good compared to larger servers. Which I kind of figured might be silly going into it, but... Again, better that than them just not being used at all, in my mind. Ooh, 
Ooh, plus nine max HP. I'm gonna go with that. And also attack speed. Reroll again. Yes, I'll take another fist. I don't know if maybe there's some other weapons that I can unlock eventually. There don't seem to be many um, unarmed weapons. Games like running inventory on Steam, just riding away. Digital rot, is that a thing? I feel like that sounds like a dumb question on surface level, but... I mean, we're only just now recently, within the past couple of years, finding out about disc rot. Well, I guess not a couple of years, probably more like, what, 5 to 10? Ish? I don't think I've had anything affected by disc rot yet, but... I won't be surprised if they see it happen soon. Happen soon. And I know files can get corrupted, but... Yeah, like actual physical disk rot, like your CDs, they can start rotting away. I'm just, uh... If you Google it, you can see, see some examples. I think it just depends on how old the game itself is, like it's more susceptible or more... Um, prevalent on like PlayStation 1 and... I think maybe Dreamcast? Maybe PS2. But it, it do be a thing. I'm gonna take the armor. Uh, actually, kind of like all of these. Oh no, wait, range? No, we don't care about range. Don't get the gummy berserker. I'm gonna buy the hand. I really don't want to lower my attack speed, but HP and melee damage? Yeah, I'm gonna take that. All CDRs from early 90s are going to no longer be red. Had some go like see-through, some that become cloudy. I think that's basically what it is. I haven't fully inspected all of my disc-based uh, media, but I think I might have at least one that's affected by it. Which is really a shame when you think about it, because there's just so many games that have not been, like, preserved by their by their copyright holders. At least not in a good way. I'm looking at you, Nintendo. They're not the only ones guilty of it. You know what? I don't really re-roll the stats much, but I'm going to re-roll them this time. Man, oh, these are all excellent. I feel like her HP is kind of decent for now. That's tempting to take, but I'm going to take dodge. Trees die in one hit. Probably a good thing to have. I kind of want to buy turrets, too. I feel like that would be a good idea, but... Won't do it yet. I still need less HP regen. I still, we're only sitting in zero. I don't know if there's another character that starts at negative HP regen. Maybe we should just do it on them. Our speed sucks. I need to up that a little bit. service for online games and such. I'll, it's mostly copyright as far as I understand. There is a foundation here in the US. I forget the name of it. I think it's um, I think it's just called the Video Game Foundation or Video Game History Foundation. I, I can't remember the name and it's bugging me. I know of it. But I don't really think it's that's more just preservation for the history of it, not, you know, access for everyone. They do have an actual building you can go visit, and they've got 
like exhibits you can interact with, but not like a game's service. Yeah, just copyright though. It's a bitch. Where is the unarmed weapons, dude? Do they not exist? Take leather vest. Ooh, fist three. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna grab black belt next round. Our luck sucks, but I really want more speed, so... Our luck will continue going down, I guess. I don't know what luck affects specifically, if it's the kind, the quality of items that you see in the shop. The amount of materials dropped, whether or not you get a crate. There's a whole bunch of shit that it affects. But whatever I've done at the moment, it seems to be working out mostly okay here. Studio's dead or not bringing enough dollars? Yeah, it sucks. I agree. There's no real easy answer answer for it. This kind of sucks. And that kind of ties back into the whole thing I was saying earlier about you know, sure it's easy to riff on a lot of games out there for their quality or lack thereof, but. Every game that you hate is probably at least one other person's favorite game of all time. You know? And if they don't have a way to play it, that's kind of sad. I don't remember the exact quote, but I remember Gabe Newell saying something along the lines of piracy is not a... Uh, not like a sales issue or something, but it's... Uh, an access problem. I'm going to look up the quote. I don't want to talk out of my ass more than usual. Not like you care about the gameplay on the screen, right? Piracy is an issue of service, not price. Exactly. Because if you really want to play something, you would spend the money on it, right? I realize that there are people out there that do not care at all. But for most people, they would much rather just pay for the service. Like, if the service is good, and is easily accessible, and it has what you want, you're gonna, you're gonna use it. Can't use your money to get it? Exactly. You know, with uh, up in Canada, there's a lot of access to services like HBO Max or Netflix, or it's the same for people in the US. There's just certain shows that you cannot get. And that's where all these VPNs sort of get their uh, their shtick from. Work around this this licensing problem, okay? I'm gonna buy the black belt. We're gonna buy a reroll. Uh, sure, we'll take the coupon. Man, I guess there are probably other weapons I can use as an unarmed man, but I don't know what I'm supposed to use. Eight each to melee, range, and elemental. Your max HP is capped. I have not bought the handcuffs yet. That could be a good item, but... Not yet. Kind of just not getting good items here. IMO. So that all you would actually have use for it. And even then, streaming services are now starting to work around that, I believe. I don't know the technology behind it, but I know they're working around it. And supposedly this year Netflix is going to really crack down on people sharing passwords. I don't know how long that's going to last. But supposedly they're going to start cracking down on it. the health thank you yeah picking a run where we need to get like right up in the enemy's faces as the run where we take negative HP regen probably a bad idea 
Negative HP regen doesn't make you lose HP, does it? Is that a dumb question? It doesn't look like it does. That's good. I know that sounds silly to think that, but you know. I'm gonna try not to assume. Oh, getting close. Give me melee damage. Give me... Probably take dodge. No, 51% dodge. That's pretty high. Give me speed. I'm gonna be fast as fuck, boy. Minus one HP regen. I still haven't lowered that at all. Oh, blindfold? That's good. That's good for melee. Maybe Elephant's probably good for this build. Trade account with your parents so they don't have to pay. Yeah. My girlfriend is has a profile on her mom's. I think what Netflix is trying to get to is less people having like one account and sharing passwords and having those profiles be used in different households. They want it to be, oh, you had different profiles for people only in your household. You know. Again, I don't think that's going to work very well. People will probably just start canceling. 25% damage minus 3 armor. I don't think that's a good idea. Actually, I'm not going to reroll again. Let's try to save some money. Oh. We got a mini boss. I don't know if I have to kill this guy to make it to the next wave. Oh, what the fuck? Fuck are these? Oh, this is terrifying. What? Oh, it's an elite. That's what it is. Okay, these monsters are actually kind of scaring me a little bit. They they look freaky. I don't like it. Maybe we don't try to kill stuff on this wave. We just survive. I cannot get close enough to him to deal damage. I'm just going to eat shit, I think. Hopefully I can just, like, not fight him and just try to survive. Holy fucking shit. Yeah, this is just... This ain't it, chief. It sucks because I kind of need the money. Woo! That was very close. We didn't need to kill him, I guess. That's good. Yeah, after that wave, I think I'm going to take some HP. Mastery. With a fist, we can combine those. That's good. Okay, another... Another Nux that we can upgrade, or update. Upgrade? Get it patched to the most recent update. And now we can actually hit some stuff. Okay, some of those enemies in the last wave were kind of creepy. Like with the, the scythe that's coming out of them. I did not like that very much. Once we finish this run, win or lose, I'm going to take a break to get some laundry started. This won't be a super long stream today. It'll probably be maybe another hour and a half at, at the longest. I realize I didn't get a schedule out for the week. I'm kind of slacking with that, but I am still trying to get at least a couple streams each week. Even if I don't post a schedule. Elephant, yes. Harvesting, yes. Oh, one less melee damage. That's fine. Um, roll. Ooh, seven percent crit chance or more dodge. More dodge. Hallucination. Oh, we got to our um to our unlock. Okay, that's cool. So give me the level four flaming nux. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna reroll. Reroll. And then we can upgrade those knuckles. 
Enemies have a 20% chance to explode for 27, 50% uh, melee damage when they die. I think I should probably get that next wave too. Random bits I have now. Yo, thanks for the random bits. 505, that's a pretty big number for a random amount. Appreciate it, Scott. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Alright, I was looking at something. Off stream. Okay, hey, these guys are dying faster than my last run. That's good. I think more knockback would probably be a good thing to have. I really want to survive this wave, because I think getting those next couple items will be... Maybe a little bit of a boon for our run. Not enough to carry us all the way to the end, but definitely a significant help. Projectiles are getting me. They're harder to dodge when you have to get... When you gotta get in there. I need more trees spawning too, I think. Cycle that. I'm thinking. I'm thinking crit chance and damage. And okay, give me the brass knucks and give me rip and tear. Alloy is kind of tempting. I don't have range damage, and we really don't have much... We don't have any engineering, but... The other bonuses would be nice. My dodge is high enough that that wouldn't be a big hit, so I might take that. Okay, we'll lock that. No more rerolls. I reroll way too much in this game. Probably the most in any game that I've played that has a reroll option. Well, maybe not as much as Isaac. But you can get some busted runs that have... Big number rerolls there. Crazy amounts. Great, not a great. Yeah, when these projectiles start flying, I really don't know what to do. Starting on a guarantee that I'm going to avoid damage wading into a crowd of enemies, but... Bullets are adding a little bit too much to the mix for my brain to handle. 8% dodge, minus 1 armor, yeah. I think that's a, a decent trade. Yeah, you know, I'll take the alloy. Well, no, I just took more dodge. Now nah, I'll take it. The benefits, I think, are, are worth it. Am I dealing elemental damage? I am! Okay, with the Brass Nux. Flaming Brass Nux. Uh, charcoal? Yeah, we'll take that. Oh, I can buy it right now. Hell yeah. Forgot to maybe boost elemental damage a little bit. <laughs> Might be a good idea. And actually... I need to... Oh, we gotta get rid of hand too. Definitely buy some Flaming Brass Nux next chance we get.
Yeah, this is just taking a a wee bit more focus. Than anticipated. Okay. Okay, token's good. Um, black belt's also good, I guess. Crit chance, yeah. All all good items, I think. Uh, I might as well just like take some HP regen at this point. Speed would not be a bad thing to have, though. Plus 2% attack speed for every 1% dodge you have. Oh! That's very good. That's very good. Energy brace bracelet as well. Um, Harvesting's already pretty high. I don't think I need to get any more of that. Pickup range is also not that important. We're already kind of right in there. That's important to get. More brass necks. I think a warrior helmet might also be nice. I don't want to lower my speed if I can avoid it. I don't know what those wrinkly dudes do. I feel like leaving them alive for an extended period of time might be a bad idea. Maybe they explode into a bunch of bullets if you don't kill them quickly enough. I don't know. I don't care to find out either. I think these big armored dudes are doing the most damage to me right now. Good hustle, good hustle. Plus 60 range. <laughs> we're at negative 161 range. I don't think there's... We're not digging ourselves out of that hole. Nor do I really feel like I need to. Elemental damage. Two level four brass nugs. And uh, the blue hand is probably still our weakest weapon. Yep, by a bit. So I'm going to recycle that, get some more brass nugs. I'm gonna take some more HP too. Get another little muscle man. Give me more trees, yes. Okay. I'm I'm feeling the the wheels turn here. We're near the end of the run, so I'd hope that they're at least spinning a little bit. Oh, these dudes are still pretty tough. Usually by this point in a run, I can kill them pretty quickly. I think the the honkers. They make some sort of honking sound. Or grinding sound. They they strengthen random enemies, it looks like. At the moment, we do seem to be taking less damage overall, so that's working out pretty decently. Plus 15 max HP, plus 8% enemy speed. That's a nice boost stage. Fuck it, I'm gonna take it. Let's get crazy. I need negative HP regeneration, please. Where? Why can't I get that? Fuck it, I'll buy the Hedgehog next round. Next round. I don't really have many waves left to do it on, so maybe I should just get what HP region I can. While we can. Yeah, these Viking Helmet guys are a little annoying. I feel like they end up doing more damage. Some of the other basic grunts. But not now. What is my dodge at? Yeah. If I could get my dodge a bit higher. The only problem is when we do get hit, we do take some pretty decent damage. Our armor is very, very low by comparison. Let's 
too low. I don't want to get that low. I want to get low, but I don't want to get that low. Actually, I don't want to get low at all with my armor. I want to get high. Oh, no. The consequences of my own actions are coming to haunt me. Plus 10% crit. Minus one armor. Our crit chance is pretty high. Let's, let's crank it. Now we can crank our armor a little bit. I don't think I'm going to get negative 5 HP regen before the next... I'm going to buy the medical turret. Let's unlock the hedgehog. We'll get that unlock on another run. Just focus on survivability. Bond's a little bot that slows down nearby enemies. Our attack speed's kind of crazy. I don't need anything else to buff that. I'll lock the Wandering Bot for next round. I would like some other weapons. I'm surprised that these weapons have carried us this far. I realize they get a boost based on the character, but... I feel like... I didn't... get this build set up correctly. Like, there might have been something else I did wrong. That guy was a little bit tougher. Probably get our attack speed even higher, and that would probably help our survivability more than I'm I'm realizing. I don't know. We were doing pretty good with without taking too much damage, or as far as not taking too much damage that round. Let's go with HP, I guess. Oh no, wait. Let's go with elemental damage. Oh. Do we go even crazier on the attack speed? I feel like we do. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Still no other unarmed weapons to buy. Okay. Minus 10% enemies, minus 5% damage, but plus 4 elemental damage. Eh, I don't really want that. More crit chance? Sure. Let's bump up our dodge a little bit more t as well. Sure. Oh, but I want more crit chance again. You know what? A little bit less damage, but more attack speed? Sure. Let's get crazy with it. Let's go. We'll probably... I mean, I don't want to jinx myself, but maybe we'll be fine. I don't like having to get this close to the boss. It's a little concerning. Especially when you start spawning some other projectiles. Heal me, turret! Oh, I don't like this part. I mean, do I have to kill him to win? Like, what happens if you don't kill him on this wave? I've never had that happen. Okay, we took a bit of damage there. They're taking a bit more damage, I don't like it. Oh, please, no. No! I was right there! Ah, I'm never gonna win with this stupid bitch! We got Ghost. Ghost is cool, I guess. Plus 10 damage with ethereal weapons, plus 30% dodge. Dodge is capped at 90%. Okay. Minus 100 armor, so don't get hit. Well... That was still a pretty fun run, even if I died like a like an idiot at the very end. So yeah, like I mentioned, I'm going to take a quick break. 